Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz along with Rookie Mankiewicz, and we're hosting TYT Sports, and we'd like you to subscribe, wouldn't we, Rookie? What are you looking at? Jerk of the Week, uh, we're going back to a familiar nominee, a guy we considered last week but didn't give Turk of the Week to. Um, we're going to give it to Mike Martz. This we some, are? We're, well, no, it relates to this. We were going to give okay. it to Mike Martz for Turk of the Week last week because he finally sort of recognized that you can't keep dropping Jay Cutler back 40 times a game because they can't protect him. They gave the ball to Matt Forte in week four. He picked up whatever, 100 plus yards, 120 plus yards. Um, and more than that, 200, 202. Yards, 200 yards. He goes over 200 yards and they and they win. And you think, hey, all of, and Cutler threw the ball, what, like less than 20 times in that, fewer than 20 times 19. in that. So anyway, uh, but now we've gone back to a jerk of the week. We're not giving it to Mike Martz, but we're going to give it to the Bears offensive line. The of course. Bears, the beleaguered Bears offensive line. <laughs> because Jay Cutler, who was 28 of 38 uh, in the game, um, uh, you know, so you look just strict numbers, the numbers weren't all that bad for Cutler. Um, 28 to 38, 249 and a touchdown. But man, he was under pressure the entire game. And he looks like a guy under pressure because he's, you know, he's backpedaling. There was a couple times when I was listening to the game on the radio where uh, Boomer Esiason on Westwood One was pointing out that, that he went down before the contact came, that he just sort of was ready to, to, to bite it before the hit comes because he's so used to the hit coming. Well, I understand that. What I found a little weird, and this is interesting because Rick's perspective as a Bears fan is so different, was that... The announcers, and this goes back to last year when they, when because Roger Worski at Monday Night Football, he loves Jay Cutler. And they always talk about how perfect his form is. You know who else loves him? Steve Young at ESPN. They love Jay Cutler. They love the idea of Jay Cutler more than the actual success of Jay Cutler because, of course, he's had really incredibly limited success in the NFL. And there are some who think he quit in the playoffs against the Packers. Oh, my God. Uh, Do not open that up right now. What, you don't think he did? No. Why, not, why don't you think he did? Because he tore his MCL. He didn't care. Ben, play with a torn MCL, okay? No, no, I wouldn't play. I'd be annoyed. He didn't know it was torn. I'd have tried to play. He had no interest in play. None. None. That's it. He had no interest in play. It seemed. I don't know. He was hurt. And, uh, but now we're seeing a guy who's going down before the hits come because he keeps getting hit in his... In his defense, he keeps getting hit. But these announcers, they still love him. Do the players like him? Do they believe in this guy? Who the hell knows? Who knows? It's Who knows? Um, it's an interesting guy, Jay Cutler. I can't quite figure him out. But anyway, the Bears offensive line has given him little to work with. He still put up pretty good numbers, but they were just um, manhandled. Uh, Nine false start penalties, okay? Yeah. Well, Nine. That, well, we should give, right, that's a, uh, um, the crowd was there. They just, they look disorganized. They can't protect, and they're scared. They're scared, they're scared, they're scared. Dude, with this offensive line, you got to understand, that's Bears football, man. That's what? It's, it's Bears football. Lance Lewis, Jamarcus Webb, Frank Omeo. Jamarcus Webb is so awful. And then Jamarcus, not Jamarcus Webb, Frank Omeo, the smallest lineman in the league, plays horribly. This is the worst bunch of offensive linemen I have ever seen in my life. And those nine false starts penalties, they played like guys who believe that they're the worst offensive line in the league. You know, because they're thinking, we got to get, we're, we're, they're nervous, man. They don't want to see that ball snap. And the, I love that we're talking about the vaunted Lions defense. That's a long time coming. But it was great to see the Detroit crowd at Ford Field into that game and motivated and the, the Detroit all of a sudden sort of an exciting place to be. Uh, for football. That was good stuff, but uh, the Bears offensive line with those false star penalties. and uh, One and more stat for you here, Ben. 70 sacks going back to last year and including this year. 70 sacks. That's the most in the league. Did you think Cutler quit before you found out that he had a torn MCL during the game? Did I think he quit? Would you, quit is too strong. And I, I, I don't, like. Did you think that that guy is happy not to be in the game? Like That's, that's what it looked like. It's not. He was hurt. You're right. But it you know, like there, there is nobody in the NFL that's criticized more for body language than Jay Cutler. Maybe Lovey Smith, but Jay Cutler is the most criticized guy for body language. Did I think he quit? Mm, 
Yeah, a little bit. And then I started reading Twitter and I started hearing what everybody was saying and they said he had a torn MCO. And then it's like, well, how can you still think that? How could you possibly still think that he quit? Yeah, I want to see the x-rays. That's all I'm saying. Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz along with Rookie Mankiewicz and we have a message for you, don't we, pal? Line, line. Subscribe to TYT Sports. Do your job!